Hello, everybody, and welcome to Poland Daily Travel. I couldn't be happier to welcome you to the village of Varka because we've driven an hour and a half just to get here. It's on our way. We're going along the Pilica. And we started off in this series oh, about uh, 120 miles south of Warsaw. And now we're moving back towards Warsaw all day long along the Pilica. We, came, we went down the Jevnica, which runs into the Pilica, and now we're back. And the river's just down there. It's just behind me and down the hill. But also behind me is this fine firehouse. Look at that. Which is uh, quite a notable building. It's got that, the old tower there. And here we have the old, the old townhouse. What's, what's important about Varka is that it's a good place for uh, kayaking in the summer. And uh, it's a nice, uh, nice stop along your kayaking route, because remember, the Pulitza, you can kayak for days uh, on end. It's about 300 kilometers long. That's about 200 miles of beautiful kayaking along the Pulitza River. And one of those stops, as you're nearing the Vis Vistula, because the Vistula is that way, it's not far away. And we might even make, uh, get close to it. I don't know if we can make it to the mouth of the Vistula, because I don't know if it's marshy or swampy or what down there but we're not far from there. At any rate, here we have the ubiquitous statue of uh, Charnetsky, the famous uh, uh, baron and one of the legendary leaders of Poland. We've talked about him in previous times. Also, people to think of when you're here, Kosciusko. Again, Kosciusko, there's a plaque to Kosciusko over here on this uh, municipal, old municipal building. It's a sort of uh, justice of the peace type building now, I think. And what else? I can tell you this. This is the real surprise. And we're gonna go there in just a minute after the bumper. And that is the country house of Kazimierz Pulaski. We won't be able to go in today, uh, but we can go and show you where it is and talk a little bit about Mr. Kazimierz Pulaski. So stay with us after the bumper. We'll be right back. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Poland Daily Travel. In this series of episodes, we are going to be in the Pulitza River Valley again. We'll stop off in the small town of Apochno, a small town with a rich history whose modern demeanor is rather unassuming, but whose past harbors a number of treasures. We're going to uncover those treasures for you in several episodes. It's a typical small town in modern Poland, but its rich history is well worth exploring. So let's do that. After that, we will continue along the Pulitza River to Varka, the last big town before the Pulitza rolls its way into the mighty Vistula. I say mighty Vistula with slight irony, but it is very much the main artery of Poland, flowing as it does from the mountains to the sea. And the Pulitza is its main western tributary. At any rate, in Varko, we will stop off at the house where Kazimierz Pulaski was born and where he spent his summers as a child. So stay tuned for the next series of episodes on Poland daily travel. Why do we do it? We do it for you. I'm Will Richardson, and I thank you for watching. Okay, so here it is. Welcome back after the bumper. This is what I was talking about. This is the country home where he was born, uh, the home of Kazimierz Pulaski, or in Polish, Puławski. Uh, if you don't know who he is, you might well want to know, because Pulaski, Count Kazimierz, uh, Kazimierz Pulaski in English, uh, was the man who's called the father of American cavalry. That's because uh, he was in charge of developing cavalry for George Washington in the Revolutionary Army. This is a house where he spent his summers. I don't know if he was born here or in Warsaw, but he spent his summers here. This was the summer palace uh, of the Pulaski family. I'll tell you. He died in 1779 in the Battle of Savannah in Savannah, Georgia. And we're just outside the city. And uh, 
this was a very important battle. He was actually the general in charge of the Southern Revolutionary Army. Kosciuszko was in the north with, with Washington, and Pulaski was in charge of the army. He was a young man. He was 32 years old uh, when he died. And uh, he, he, was, uh, uh, he had a lot of responsibility for uh, uh, a fellow of that age. He, he was, of course, a general um, in the uh, American army. And he had been instrumental in uh, rebellions against, against the Russians. I mean, just a heck of a guy. Reminds me a lot of the Southern uh, cavalry officer called Jeb Stewart, J.E.B. Stewart, who was from uh, Virginia. Interesting story is he did die in the Battle of Savannah, and one of my direct ancestors also died in the same battle under uh, Kazimir, uh, Kazimir uh, Pulaski's command. So, uh, true story. And so, for me, this is a very interesting place to come and see. It feels, uh, you know, uh, it feels like I should have come here a long time ago. But we won't go into the museum because it's not open. We will come back and we'll do it another time on further travels. But uh, I just thought as we were going along the Pulitzer River, it was really worth stopping here and having a look uh, at, uh, at the place where he was born. I wanted to see it anyway. And I hope that, uh, that you feel something. And uh, I know it's just a house, but, but the story is very moving. And over here is the statue, the sort of, it's a rather grandiose uh, statue that was created uh, uh, in memory of him. It makes him look more like a Teutonic knight than a uh, Revolutionary War general. But there he is. And actually, the, the facial likeness is pretty similar to uh, what he, in fact, did look like. It's a little exaggerated, as statues go, but it is pretty similar. Uh, to the way he looked. He, he had a receding forehead and uh, uh, a receding hair on his forehead and a uh, little mustache, as you can see here. So, if you look back the history of all those John Wayne movies where they're, uh, where they're in, the, in the cavalry and they're doing the cavalry charge, remember, uh, she wore a yellow ribbon and movies like that. Um, if you remember uh, anything about, uh, remember it was a Kevin Costner movie, he was in the cavalry as well. General George Armstrong Custer at the Battle of Little Bighorn, also cavalry, the 7th Cavalry, all started by this man in America, the great Kazimierz Pulaski, or Kazimierz Pułowski in Polish. See you next time on the next episode of Poland Daily Travel.